and welcome to another FPV Inside Look. This time we are looking at the FPV Connect Wi-Fi module. This little guy is going to go inside the Orca One FPV goggles and we'll be able to download our DVR directly to our phones, check our battery life, internal temperature of the goggles, and in the future, real soon, they'll be having an update so you can live stream directly from your goggles. So, let's figure out how to install this guy and get it connected to our smartphone. When you receive the Orca FPV Connect, you're going to have, well, this little guy. It's a little black chip and it's going to go into the side bay of the Orca 1 FPV goggles. Now these are my goggles and I have a little custom sticker wrap. I make these myself, so I'll just peel that sticker off so you can see that. There's a secondary bay right here and if you pinch the tabs and peel it off, there we go, it pops off. It's a little stiff, so make sure you grab the tabs at the top and the bottom that are meant for your fingers to kind of go through and pull it off. On the inside, you'll see a little ribbon cable, and there's also a QR code in there with a Orca FPV1 number. Now that is your individual number for your goggles, and we'll need that in a little bit. Before you actually install this Wi-Fi module onto the goggles, we need to update the goggles to version 1.2.0 at least. And it's on orca.freshdesk.com. I will leave a link down below so you know where to find that. And later on in the future, just keep it updated to the newest version because they will be constantly modifying and updating this and you'll always want to be running the latest version. All you need to do is go to the Orca Fresh Desk, download the version 1.2 file. If it's zipped, you need to unzip it and put it on the micro SD card that goes right inside the goggles here. Save the file directly to the main screen of your SD card, the very first screen to load up, and then put the goggles, the chip, back in your goggles and power them on. Once you power them on, you'll see on the inside a little screen that says it's updating. You know you're all done because your goggles will power cycle and you'll hear them beep again when they turn back on. Turn off the goggles and now we can install the FPV1 Connect. It's very simple. You have this ribbon cable sticking out the side and you have a ribbon port right here. Now there are two tabs on the side. Once your ribbon cable goes inside there, these little tabs need to snap down to lock in the ribbon cable. There is a UFL connector on here. We do not need to do anything with that right now. That is for future modifications from Orca. And same with the four pins up here for soldering. We don't have to do anything to get Wi-Fi functionality at the moment. We just have to plug in this ribbon cable and put it in there. What I like to do to install this guy is I like to hold the ribbon cable to the top of that little bay and pinch it with my finger. And then I'll be able to slide the ribbon cable in there. Make sure your pins are out. If one of them's down, it won't go in. Get it in there. And then once it's in there, you can use tweezers or anything else that might help you get those pins down. You should not see very much of the white ribbon cable when we're all done. There should only be about a sixteenth of an inch of that white sticking out beyond the clip. We will need to connect our iPhone to the Wi-Fi of the Orca goggles once they're powered on. Now once we power this on, you'll hear the first set of beeps and that's it starting up. Once it gets past the, the initial startup and the load screen of Orca, you'll hear another set of beeps. The Wi-Fi module will have a little red light on it when it's active and it does take 10 or 15 seconds after the first beeps. There we go. Now it's red. If you go to the Wi-Fi and find your ORCA, it says ORCA, AP, FPV, and then a bunch of hex numbers. Now in order to connect to that Wi-Fi spot, it has a password and your password is this little QR code underneath there. There's a number, it's an FPV, and then seven, eight numbers after that. Put in your number, FPV, and then the rest of those numbers. That is your password for the Wi-Fi connection. Once you're connected, it will turn green, and you know you're good to go. You can close that bay back up. Now we're gonna open up the application on our phone. It's the Orca Connect app. And it's gonna want you to look for the Wi-Fi module. Again, you have to be connected on your Wi-Fi already and then open the app and then tell it to search. Once it's done that, you'll be able to see another couple features up here like your battery voltage, 
the temperature of your goggles in case you're out in the midsummer and it's getting hot. You'll also see your last recordings from your DVR. Now, the DVR does take a minute to get there, so if you just stop flying and you pull out your phone right away and look for it, it'll take a minute for it to actually send all the information to the app. Once it's there, all you really have to do is go to the recordings and then click the picture. You'll see a little image of like a disc with a down arrow for downloading. Now my four minute video took two, three minutes to download, nothing too bad. And that will depend on what version of phone you're running, how strong of a connection you have and all other details. But you should be able to download it. Once it's there, it'll save to your phone and also on the app to your saved files and you can review all your cool footage. Now Orca FPV has a lot of other updates coming out, including an update that'll make it able to live stream video from your phone using this module. So if you got on a lunch break, like I do all the time to fly, you can send out a live stream to hopefully your social media platforms. This will be out in a week or so, I hope. They've been talking it up a lot and I know it's right on the edge of release. That's gonna do it for this episode of FPV Inside Look and the Orca One FPV Connect Wi-Fi module. If you have any questions about how to connect the Wi-Fi module to your smart device, please leave a comment down below. I'm happy to try and help answer anything I can. Please also subscribe to my YouTube channel, and if you like, you can find me on my social media platforms, NorCal Drones. Thank you so much. Keep ripping packs.